get the root, shall we? Yeah. Uh, come round this way. Uh, the table's too bloody yet, uh, right? Hi, January the 28th, 2021. I've received more video from Brad on the servicing of the Lancaster Asian Lancaster engines at East Kirkby. When Brad's video has finished, I've added a piece of video in which I took in 2018 when they reassembled the propeller. The blades had just come back from Canada after being serviced. It goes right through to fitting on to the Lancaster engine. Once again, thanks for Brad for sending us video. Right Nev, here's a flame trap in soak in petrol. If that would blow it through with compressed air. And this now is one of the inlet manifolds and that's where it actually sits once it goes in. So you obviously you have two for a bank, you go in there. You see once they're both in, we lock them using this lock tab. There's a bolt that goes through there, which is also locked and sits in there. And then there's another one that grabs it at the end, which is also locked. Excitement. So this is the uh, slime trap and uh, inlet manifold assembly when it's all, once it's all back together. So there you've got your two flame traps. Everything locked and cleaned and uh, Ready to go back on the aircraft. Another job today is uh, to retorque the engine holding down studs. See here, so you've got two on the front, two on the back on both sides of each engine. The front ones are mounted on a, a Paxlin block. The rear ones are mounted on two rubber blocks to allow for um, expansion and vibration and as such they have two different torque settings so what we do is take the split pins out take the torque off retorque them and then put the split pin or put a new split pin in so there we are you join me underneath number one engine and what i'm about to do is drain a sample of coolant out of here which is at the bottom of the coolant pump um, to test its specific gravity and its acidity. Stay tuned for more exciting progress. You join me on number one engine again, about to carry out the second part of the coolant system test. What we do is remove this bung here and screw in an adapter and through that we can pressurise the coolant system. Uh, the first part of the test we pressurise to 8, well between 8 and 12 psi, make sure this uh, release, relief valve works. Then we depressurise the system, blank this off and take it to 30 psi um, and make sure the system can maintain it for 10 minutes and uh, look around for leaks. So uh, see how we go. I know. As you can see, we've taken the dome off the propeller on number two engine to check the condition, as I mentioned last week, and uh, it's perfect. Doesn't seem to have been any uh, water condensation staying up there, so exercising the, the propeller and taking it to higher power has certainly um, been worth it. Thank you. 
them both together. I'll get the root, shall I? Yeah. Come round this way. The table's too bloody yet, right? Situation normal, is it? Yeah, 
Just putting the split pins in now, the locking nuts. I'm going to get a bit of a closer look at it. Okay, nice <laughs> yeah, okay. Are you going? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you then. Okay. You've got to get that way. You can go over there. It's amazing what happens when you 
put the right property there, haven't they? Yeah. Well, they've been there one bit today, one bit today. Not good. Yes, there is a wall now. Yeah,